In 1985, Franklin Computer Corp. was a four-year-old company that had released four different Apple clones. The Franklin Ace 500, which was released in October of that year, was the first of these Apple clones to be fully... legal. It was better in some ways than the Apple IIc it was molded after, but lacking in others. Hey guys, it's Jacob with Mac Retrospective, and today we are going to be taking a first look at this Franklin Ace 500. Both the Apple IIc and the Franklin Ace 500 were similar systems, but if you compare them side by side, the Ace 500 is quite a bit heavier and slightly larger. Both systems have external power supplies and both are somewhat portable, with handles on the back and a relatively slim design. You could pick up an Ace 500 for $9.99, or about $2,265 in today's money. For your money, you'd get a portable system with a MOS 65C02 processor, 256 kilobytes of RAM, 280 by 192 color graphics, a built-in 143 kilobyte floppy disk drive, and FDOS in ROM. Note that while the Franklin Ace 500 had 256 kilobytes of RAM compared to the mere 128 found in the Apple IIc, the Ace 500 could only run a maximum of 512K, while the IIc could run one megabyte. Along with the familiar QWERTY keyboard, you'll notice toggle switches for 80 or 40 column text mode and standard or mouse mode selector. You'll also see a four position RGB text mode selector and a volume control slider. If we get our lighting just right, you'll also see the bright text labeling the function keys. The five and a quarter inch floppy drive is on the right side. On the back, you'll see a serial port, dip switches, parallel port, external drive connector, mouse port, RGB output, composite video output, and the proprietary power connector. We bought our system for $260 on eBay, described as working by the seller. That's our first look on the Franklin 500. Be sure to check out some of our other videos. We have an unboxing of our Apple IIc and lots of other great videos for you to check out. I'll see you next time.